When are you expecting Tesla Humanoid Bot to begin mass scale production? Most are thinking next year, 2025, but some are now starting to be convinced it might happen this year in 2024. Why? Well, one possible clue is the job openings that Tesla is now hiring for. Today, let's take a look at all the jobs that Tesla is hiring for the Tesla Bot. You'll see jobs needed for manufacturing and scaling, and you'll see a number of clues in the language that they're using for the job postings, and you'd be the judge. And the other person who's gonna help us figure this out is Jeff Lutz. He has actually run these companies before, factories. He kind of knows when, what kind of job postings you put up, depending on the stage that you're at. Welcome, Jeff. Yeah, great to be with you. This is a good one. That's a good one. So uh, Alexandra Mertz did all the work here. Uh, she basically put together all these job postings. She's following clear, uh, closely. Here's one that she found very recently, thousands of robots. What did I miss? So if you look at this deep learning manipulation engineer, Tesla bot, it actually says right here, most importantly, you will be, uh, you will see your work repeatedly shipped to and utilized by thousands of humanoid robots in the real world applications. So this is obviously a job posting. This person hasn't been hired. It's looking forward, like you will see your work, but it's kind of interesting that they use the word thousands of humanoid robot instead of millions. If this is really forward looking, you should say millions. So um, anything you could gather from this statement? Um, yeah, I, if, so first off, this, this type of, um, shareholder research is actually a really important thing to do. <laughs> so I really want to credit Alexandra and you did in the beginning of, for this work because kind of going through and, and reading, she reads all of these and under, to understand them. And I think I can help just add some further context, just given my background as well. There's a mixture of jobs here that are being posted. So first off, this one is in this, this is, um, this position, there's a series of engineering positions, um, that are being posted. I think most importantly is there's a series of, of manufacturing industrialization jobs that are being posted. And I'm not seeing that in all of the other companies that are kind of putting out these bot demo videos. So I've seen as I've seen an increase in production of bot videos by other companies. But when I look at kind of the kind of the, some of the jobs that they're posting, they're not as much on the industrialization track that Tesla is. And to me, that was kind of the red siren going off of like Tesla is really serious about not only are they serious about scaling the bot because they told us they're serious about it, but now you actually see them hiring and putting the capital out there to hire the labor to do the, the engineering work and the supply chain design work. But um, when you're hiring for these roles, that means you're fairly imminent in terms of getting to scale. You don't hire them last minute. I'm not saying you know that, but you, there's usually a runway ahead of them in terms of work that they've got to do. But to me, it tells me that um, you know they could be you know throughout the year producing more and more bots, but maybe in the following year, you know, having a mass production line set up and getting out of this. Right now, I think they're doing a lot of hand builds in, in the engineering sites. I think at some point those builds transition to Nevada when the line is set up by these people they're hiring and then they build a lot more bots and eventually they roll into some controlled production. So Tesla has got a mixture of both the engineering functions and the manufacturing industrialization uh, design functions. And that tells me that they're really serious and they're imminent in terms of getting the scale. Right. We have not yet seen another bot company that's uh, th have these kind of job postings yet. Let's take a look at some more of the language that are using, which is very interesting. Alexander Mertz, another one, staff systems engineer. And there's a language here, right here, says groundbreaking product aligning with our mission of achieving machine to build machine capability. <laughs> uh, launching new products at high volume, shaping the future of AI robotics take robot design initial uh, concept uh, through prototype development and into full production, uh, expedite the robot's assembly. And then this is the other interesting thing. In their job career page, they have this, you know, uh, uh, different kinds of career pages. One is AI and robotics. And just very recently, they added this link to actually send people to right to the job listings. And look at the job listings, like we were just saying, manufacturing. I don't know anyone else who's doing this. So these are jobs to help with the manufacturing, um, manufacturing all down here. Then you've got autopilot and robo taxi. These are uh, not just the manufacturing, but of course the robotics and robotics 
Okay. Just lots of jobs. Yeah, maybe I'll Dojo. I'll walk through the mm -hmm. manuf Yeah. Okay, I'll walk through the manufacturing good. ones just to give people yeah. an example. So that systems level engineers is someone that's that's um really doing the um kind of the end to end general assembly design for the factory and how this thing is gonna um go together, be tested, kind of the, more of on the technical side in you know getting getting the bot put together. The engineering technicians, I'm assuming that there's several of them. You'd hire them both mechanically and electrically. Mm -hmm. Mechanically to diagnose and do repair, and like what's the what's the PM plan, the preventative maintenance plan that's needed? What's the um, what's the ongoing maintenance? What's the shift level maintenance needed for these robots? What you know, just when they need repair, when they're going through the manufacturing line, what are the repair causes? So you need a series of mechanical electrical technicians. This proto production supervisor. Um, of, mm -hmm. of actuators. So, so they're going to have an actuator line set up in the factory. And this person is going to ramp, there's going to be what they'll call an NPI line, new product introduction line or a prototype line mm -hmm. that does highly iterative builds of various different recipes of design until they get to the final design they want. That's that person. That person's managing that line. It's making sure materials coming in. It's making sure there's labor on the line. It's making sure the line is technically set up so when there's a request from the engineering team for a thousand actuators, that that operation's ready to go. <laughs> that is gold, gold, gold. Thank you, Jeff. I can't believe you just did that. Uh, Describe that you've hired for these positions before, so you know how these manufacturing lines look. And so finally, let's take a look at this from Alex Voigt. He took a look at LinkedIn, and this was a job ad posted four days ago. Tesla's hiring engineers for high volume mass production of Optimus that's what it says down here. Senior sensor hardware design engineer for Tesla bot. And it says down your production work with manufacturing test teams and suppliers to achieve high volume mass production with high yield. Just another clue that this is what they're doing. And it's not just one Tesla job that matches mass and volume production and supplier management. It's many plans to start mass production of Optimus. He thinks it's going to happen this year drive the development of manufacturing line from initial concept to full-scale production, lead internal equipment suppliers to design production equipment in high volume line. These yep. are signs that we're taking the prototype and we're ready to scale. So whether it's this yeah, year or next and I've year, managed, it's happening. Yeah, I've, yeah, yeah, and I've managed these functions that I know exactly what that job description is. I've actually, that's where I grew up through the manufacturing engineering um, chain and, and up to the executive chain. So I'm very aware of both working in these jobs, but also being the executive managing, you know, looking over these teams. So Tesla is, this is where I go back to like, you know, what Elon are we going to get on the, on the earnings call? Well, if you look at what Tesla is doing, and, I, and I, I keep going back to look at what the, look at where the CapEx is going, it's increasing and look at where the labor is going in terms of the engineering, the manufacturing industrialization and they they've turned the spigot on they're they're out hiring they're they're this is this is not the hiring uh pattern you do for a company that is trying to like you know clamp up or tight this is the company that wants to open it up and take over um various industries when i look at the kind of the aggressive hiring one other call i think alexandra found a cluster of posts around uh supplier industrialization in in the mexico area so it, so it's really starting to open up. I know this is a, a little bit more on bots, but it's really starting to open up in terms of where Tesla's capital plans are getting the gigafactories that may have been slowed down there. They've restarted. And when you're, you're not only trying to build those factories, but you're trying to build the supply chain around those factories. And that's what some of these requisitions are. Roshan Thomas, who's the VP of the mechanical supply chain, inbound, outbound uh, logistics and so forth. I, I've noticed that he's been posting a lot more on uh, both LinkedIn and uh, on X uh, and using the official Tesla, um, you know, uh, Twitter or Tesla X handle to, you know, to get awareness around. It's not only that they're just posting these jobs and they've got a bunch of applicants because they do, they get a lot of Tesla gets a lot of applicants, but the Tesla leadership leadership team is out there actively recruiting saying, Hey, these job postings are out there. We need you. So I think there's a there's a there's an urgency around getting these filled as well. Okay, thank you so much, Jeff. We are absolutely spoiled. <laughs> You're like a perfect person to give us a kind of a, an understanding of these job postings. Thank you so much, Jeff. Uh, if you're an audience member, you got to just uh, 
appreciate that we get his uh, opinions. Follow him on X at uh, the Jeff Lutz. Thanks, everybody. Yeah. Bye. Thanks, Herbert, you and Alexander for calling all this out. I've created a website that is the most comprehensive resource for the Tesla investor. Please check it out. Simply go to my website at herbertong.com. 